Hey everyone, welcome back to the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. Today we're going to dive into winter wellness and I've got some horse care tips for a healthy coat. You know, with colder weather setting in, it's really important to ensure that your best friend stays healthy and comfortable. But before we get started, I'd like to give a special shout out to our sponsor, Shagbark Lumber and Farm Supply. They provide everything you need for your horse's care, from quality feed to grooming supplies. Visit them for all your winter horse care essentials. Now let's get into our tips to keep your horse's coat in top shape this winter. Grooming techniques for a winter coat. A healthy winter coat helps keep your horse warm and protected. Here's how you can maintain it. You can do so by regular brushing. Even in winter, daily brushing helps remove dirt and distribute natural oils. Use a stiff brush to get through that thicker winter coat and prevent matting. Minimize bathing. I know, I know, I love giving baths to horses, but in the winter, not so much. I might wash their tails and condition them, braid them, put them in a tail bag, but not, not bathing. The barn's not heated, so no, no bueno. So you want to avoid bathing your horse during the cold months unless it is absolutely necessary. Like if you've got a horse with fecal water syndrome and their back end is getting really, really dirty, well, of course you're going to have to use warm water and wash their their little hind ends off. Otherwise, they're going to get very irritated. But if, if you absolutely need to bathe your horse, just make sure you're using warm water and that your horse is dried thoroughly to prevent chills. All right, use a grooming mitt or glove. I do, I love them. I, I use them all year round. These tools help reach deeper into the winter coat and they'll stimulate the skin and promote healthy hair growth. All right, what else can we do to keep our horses healthy in the winter time? Well, here's some nutritional tips for winter coat health. Nutrition does play a vital role in maintaining a healthy coat, especially in the winter. So you might wanna consider these tips. Increase forage because extra hay will help keep your horse warm and provide essential fiber for healthy digestion which does contribute to a healthy coat. Fatty acid supplements. Adding flaxseed oil or a commercial supplement can enhance coat shine and skin health, even in the winter. Vitamin E and selenium. These nutrients are crucial when fresh grass is not available. Make sure your horse is getting enough through their feed or supplements. So manage the winter coat. How do you manage your horse's winter coat? And it's, it is different than summer grooming. So here's what you need to consider. There are clipping considerations. You know, if you're still riding all year round, you can do a hunk clip or whatever. Um, and if you're gonna clip, you gotta make sure that now you're gonna have to add blanketing into it. Otherwise, they won't stay warm and you're going to have to monitor their condition really close for any signs of discomfort, right? You got to change out those blankets. Like I'm, I'm one like back in the day when I was showing horses and I was still working them during the winter and they were blanketed. I never let them grow a winter coat. Um, they wore hoods all of that. Um, I, I change them pretty much daily because they can start rubbing, they get sores, um, dandruff, whatever. And I, I just don't think it's comfortable for them to be in the same blankets day in and day out. I'm going to forewarn you that if you are clipping and blanketing in the winter, prepare yourself for a hefty laundry bill in the spring. Trust me, I used to spend about a thousand dollars every spring for my blanket repairs and laundering. You want to make sure your blankets fit well and they're suitable for the temperature because over blanketing can cause sweating and lead to a matted coat and skin issues, obviously. Mane and tail care. You want to keep these areas tidy to pre 
prevent tangles and getting debris buildup, which can lead to skin irritation or even infections. So here's some recommended products for winter coat care. Using the right products can make a big difference in maintaining a healthy coat during the winter. You're gonna to wanna to stock up on detanglers and conditioners and use a leave-in conditioner on manes and tails to keep them smooth and prevent them from breaking. And again, with the tails, like my Dakota's got a massively long, thick, wavy tail. I have to cut every, about every six months, I cut about four to six inches off of this tail because it just grows like mad. But in the winter, I braid it and put it into a tail bag just to protect it and so he's not walking on it. Um, you gotta think about hoof care products. Dry winter conditions can lead to cracked hooves. So you'll wanna keep a good hoof moisturizer or conditioner on hand to keep those hooves healthy and prevent cracking. I have a friend that recommended, and her husband is a well-known farrier. She uses used peanut oil. So I keep a can of it. I have an old hoof conditioner can and I put um, peanut oil in it. Works great. I don't overdo it though. My, I always ask my farrier, how's Dakota's feet? Are they too dry, too moist? Does he have thrush, blah, 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 blah. But he's really good about, no, no, you're good. Don't put anything else on him. He's fine. And I love that. So make sure you're having a good conversation with your farrier and vet. All right, another important thing to think about in the winter are electrolytes. Um, if your horse is sweating or you notice that your horse has reduced water intake, you might wanna consider an electrolyte supplement so that you can encourage drinking and prevent dehydration. You know, that's where years ago I was using, not in the winter, in the winter I would use a stock tank with a, um, a, a Oh, a bubbler, actually, and a heater and a grounding rod because they can get electrocuted, absolutely. Um, but in the summer, I was using an auto water, an automatic water, but here's the thing. I had four horses and you don't know who's getting enough water. There's really no way to monitor with an automatic water. And what if it stops working and you're not aware of it? Like, I don't know. I used to be a big fan of it, not so much anymore, especially because Dakota has Cushing's and I really like to monitor how much he's drinking. And right now, because he's on percent, he's not drinking as much. He's drinking normal, but before he was drinking insane amounts. All right. Hydration can have an impact on the winter coat as well. So keeping your baby hydrated is absolutely crucial, even in the winter. So here's what you can do. You can keep your horse's water warm. Horses are more likely to drink if the water is not too cold. So consider using a heated water bucket or adding warm water to their drinking trough. Salt blocks. I just got a new one in today. I got a Himalayan salt block in today for Dakota. Place salt or mineral blocks in their stall so you can encourage them to drink and maintain hydration. Always, always, always check their water supply. Make sure the water sources aren't frozen and they're easily accessible at all times to prevent dehydration, which can impact their coat health, can impact their health in general. All right, well, that's what I got for you today, folks. Thank you for joining us on this episode of the Backyard Horse Enthusiast. And whether you're a seasoned horse owner or you're just starting out, these tips will help you keep your horse healthy and happy this winter. And hey, if you found this video helpful, can you give it a thumbs up and consider sharing it with your fellow horse enthusiast? And don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with more equine care insights. I'd really appreciate it and so would our boy Dakota. And a big thank you again to our sponsor Shagbark Lumber and Farm Supply for supporting this episode. Let's all take great care of our horses this winter and make a wonderful season for them. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.